I swear we're wearing clothes, it's just probably gonna be out of shot the whole time, so just as a warning. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Annalise, and I am here today with a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time because I see everybody and their mother doing it, and I really like the concept of it, and that is a favorites video. Now, if you don't know what a favorites video is, they're normally monthly favorites videos. People like beauty gurus tend to do them the most, but that doesn't mean that nobody else can do them. Everybody else does them, and it's pretty much a video at the end of the month that you say, hey, last month was May, this is the end of May or the beginning of June, and these are all the things I liked in May. And it could be beauty products, it could be clothes, it could be ideas, it could be articles, books, music, literally anything and everything that you liked could be in a favorites video. Now I've been wanting to do a favorites video for a very long time because as you guys know I like sharing things with you and letting you know what I like and then you might like it too and so I've been wanting to do this however favorites videos normally have more than just like one or two things in them and my problem has been I haven't been able to have enough things to make a full favorites video. So what this favorites video is gonna be. It's my first favorites video, in case you didn't read the title. And this is pretty much stuff that I've accumulated over, let's say, the past couple of months that I can now put into one collective video. This is probably gonna be a little extra longer video than an average favorites video, which normally ranges about 15 minutes, because I have stuff that's probably from as far as six or seven months back. So I would like to share that all with you now. In the description below, I'll be putting links to where I got all these items or where you can pick up one of your own, so that way you guys can go check it out. Let's get started. So the first two things I have are the Dove Advanced Hair Series Pure Care Dry Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Let me tell you, these are my favorite shampoo and conditioner in the entire world. I don't know why it's called dry oil because it does the opposite of make your hair oily, which is what I first thought. I saw this actually in Ingrid Nielsen's favorites a couple months ago, and I have to say, I absolutely love these. It makes my hair smell delicious, and it makes my hair so soft and easy to comb through. And I can use conditioner on my scalp, and it doesn't make my hair oily. It makes my hair like just beautiful. I've gotten so many compliments on my hair when I use these two items. As you can see, it's almost out, so I have to go buy some more. They are a little bit pricey for my taste. It's like five bucks a bottle, but honestly, so worth it. If you're looking for an awesome shampoo, these are your guys. The next two guys I have are face scrubs. The first one is Neutrogena's All-in-One Acne Control Daily Scrub, and the other one is St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub, which I bet you've heard about almost everywhere and anywhere. I got this in my Campus Vox box, and I'm so glad I did because I had always heard about it, but I didn't want to try it and end up not liking it, and I was so glad I got it in that Vox box because I tried it, and I'm absolutely in love with it. It has salicylic acid, same thing with this, and I find that salicylic acid works really great on my face when it comes to like acne and things like that. So this guy is awesome. If you're not allergic to apricot, it smells really great. It works really great. It's really cleansing. This guy is also great. I like it because it says it clears up acne's past, present, and future, and I think that's totally true. Anything that I, anytime that I've had dark spots or anything like that, it normally evens out my skin tone. When I do get a little bit of a breakout here and there, this stuff is my savior. It's about seven-ish bucks, so it's kind of pricey as well, but it's 100% worth it. It'll last me a really long time, and I love the the cleansing feel gives my face. This next guy is Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. This also has salicylic acid in it, and it is oil-free. I absolutely love this moisturizer. I was looking for a good moisturizer, and I tried other ones that made my skin feel really oily, and I can actually feel the moisturizer on my face, and it just felt disgusting. This guy makes my face baby smooth, soft. It controls my acne, and it is also just very nice. I like it. Next, we have Copper Tone Sport High Performance Faces Sunscreen. This stuff is awesome because when the sun comes out, the gun come out, also the UV rays come out, and it goes onto your face, and that's how you get sunburn. And this stuff prevents that, and what's awesome about it is it is made for your face. So I used to use like body sunscreen on my face, and then it made my face super oily and disgusting. This stuff is awesome because it is actually formulated to not cause breakouts. It smells delightful. Any copper tone sunscreen is my favorite, and it stays on strong when you sweat. So if you're playing sports or if you're going swimming, this is my go-to, and it's in, it's in this nice little small bottle that lasts a super long time. I don't even know how long I've had this, but I can just throw it in my bag and run. Disclaimer, when it comes to makeup, I don't know anything about makeup. So if I say I use a certain makeup item for the one thing and it's meant to be used for the other thing, please just don't yell at me. 
So we're gonna start with brushes. Okay, so this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, and this is the Lexi 504 Large Angled Brush. I got this in one of my Ipsy subscription bags, and I absolutely love it because it is just so freaking soft, and it's like angled, which I feel like helps when I do like this business, and it's just like, it's very nice. I use it for bronzer, and normally I just go boop boop, boop 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 whatever. And then it makes me look like I'm not super pale as a ghost. And so this brush is really awesome. I looked on their website and it's actually like 17 bucks, which I feel like isn't expensive for brushes, like high-end brushes, but I would have never paid for this. So I'm glad I got it for free. And then the expert face brush I use for foundation. When I first learned how to do makeup, learned, I used foundation on my fingers and I just kind of did this business. And then I got like streaky and it looked weird and it looked disgusting. And so I looked for a brush and I read some reviews on websites and things like that and people said Real Techniques was good. So I kind of found this and I know that it's supposed to be dense. That's a word the beauty gurus use. And like dome shaped helps. This honestly is a great beginner's brush. If you don't know what the hell you're doing like I don't, this guy is awesome because there's not a lot to it. And so this is, this is great. The next guy that I have is the Ready Set Gorgeous CoverGirl Foundation in the color 115 also known as Buff Beige. I love this stuff because I saw it in like a Katy Perry commercial and she's like, it makes your face flawless and ready for the camera and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, whatever, I like Katy Perry, I'll try it. And oh my gosh, I've never gone back. This stuff is very light. I like this foundation because it doesn't feel like you're wearing it. It doesn't feel like you just painted your face. Also, it is kind of like an oil-free makeup, so that way your face doesn't get all oily, it doesn't look all shiny. I absolutely love this foundation. This here is the Pixie by Petra Beauty Bronzer in the color of summertime. And I like this because it is just very light but it's enough to give you a little bit of color. Sometimes my face looks really sickly. <laughs> like, I, it sounds terrible, but sometimes I have a really, like, pale flush to my face. That makes sense? And so just putting a little bit of this on the apple of your cheeks. I don't know if these are the apples. Putting this on the apples of my cheeks makes me, I feel like, look alive. I also got this stuff in an Ipsy bag, and I have to say, the Ipsy bag is totally worth it for only 10 bucks a month. I've gotten things that are, like, worth more than the bag itself, and this is one of them that I totally am, like, so happy I have the subscription for. This guy here is the Clump Crusher by Lash Blast CoverGirl Mascara. This stuff is awesome because it has a little curved applicator thingy. It's the silicone tip applicator, and and I love this stuff because it really does crush clumps. It is, there are no clumps here. Do you see any clumps? I didn't think so because this stuff is great. I absolutely love this and it's, there's nothing else I can say about it. If you're looking for an awesome mascara that does not clump on your eyelashes, boom, this is it. This guy is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by It Cosmetics. And I absolutely love it. Once again, I got it in an Ipsy bag. And this stuff is awesome because it is very potent. It is very concentrated. So you don't need to use a lot. I literally put a, like, like a tiny little dot on my ring finger and just kind of go bloop bloop and then just like you know pat it around with my ring finger and it under eye circles are gone because mine make my face look like it's sunken in and it's just problematic and I absolutely love this stuff this is the travel size I've had this for a couple of months and I'm not even done with it yet the real or the, the large size is pretty large and it's like 30 bucks so it's kind of expensive I would say this is gonna be like your your high-end makeup I don't think I would have bought this without trying it first and I'm glad I've been able to try it because this is like my go-to under eye concealer. Before I got that, however, I got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. And this stuff I also like. This is my go-to drugstore under eye concealer because you just kind of twist it here and now there's liquid in there and with this little foam tip applicator, you just go bloop, 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 bloop. And sometimes I spread it out with like a foundation brush or whatever. And this stuff is great. It also gets rid of your dark circles. However, one thing I do have to say about it is it is very thin. So so when you put one layer on, sometimes you'll be good, but if you have darker under eye circles, you might need to put on one layer and like let it dry a little bit and then put on another layer and then you're good. But otherwise, this has been the only other under eye concealer that has worked for me and I really like it. This guy here is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eye Brow Pencil in the color of Universal Taupe. And I really like this because on one side, there is a little crayon thingy and you just kind of, you know, color in the bald spots as I do. And then on this side, there's a little brush to kind of like blend it all together. This stuff is amazeballs. I have been thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with anything of IT Cosmetics. They're a little bit more expensive, but it is definitely something that they put a lot of work into their products. They are meant to like be helpful to your body and your skin 
and stuff. If you haven't checked out their website, do it. Also, the woman who does all their tutorials and all their like introductory videos is like the CEO and the creator, and she is just an angel. She is pleasant to listen to. I just watch all the videos. I don't know what half the crap that her makeup does, but I'm just like, yes, tell me all about it, gal pal, because I am having a great time talking to you, or actually you talking at me. But definitely, if you need a eyebrow pencil thing, this stuff has lasted me all day and night, and it's just, it's magic. Boom. This guy here is the Lush Honey Trap Lip Balm. It is in a little tub, which I actually really don't like because I hate getting my fingers sticky and dirty. However, because this lip balm is so magical, it is worth the sacrifice because it makes your lips so soft and so smooth and just great. And anytime if I had like a cracked lip or very dry lips or whatever, I put this on, my lips are soothed immediately. It makes my lips smell good. And then also the next day, boom, I have magically hydrated lips. Like this stuff lasts all day. It is expensive because it's lush, obviously, but it's 100% worth it. It's only like eight bucks, so it's not exactly expensive. It's expensive for lip balm, but it's worth the eight bucks. The first thing I have to talk about are these shoes. These are literally godsends. I love them forever and ever. I got them from Payless. They are the Montego Bay Club like brand. Payless has all their little brands. These are, oh, I can't even explain how much I love these shoes. If you know me, about 99% of the time I'm wearing these because they match almost every outfit because they're in this beautiful like weird cognac, 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 cognac. You know what I'm trying to say, hopefully. They're in this weird brown color that pretty much goes with a lot of clothes and they're so comfortable. They don't have like the weird toe thing, so that doesn't get annoying after a while. The zip up in the back, it's pretty wide, but it's not like it's gonna fall off your foot. I cannot speak better words about these shoes. Payless, they're amazing, boom. So the next thing that, if you also know me, you probably see me wear this a lot, is this dress. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me wear it to my best friend's baby shower. Boom, there's a picture. And it is just such a cute little pattern. It is very flowy, very light. It it has just like little spaghetti straps here. It's got this weird flowy thing in the front, but I'm not mad about it. And I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with the pattern. Those shoes match this dress and it's just one of the most comfortable things that I love wearing. I've worn it to weddings, showers, work, casual, anywhere. Perfect, just great summertime dress. And the next guy I've got here is this little black dress. And it's kind of like a flowy, like boho chic dress. It's got this weird little like detailing on this, like the bottom part. It is just a super comfortable dress. It's super light. So it's something that it's like, it's a dressy kind of casual outfit. But if you paired it with some things, you can probably make it look really dressed up. It is very comfortable. I got it from Target as well as I did that other dress. It's got like a little open back thing here and it's just a little strappy thing. And it comes in different patterns, which I plan on getting like this weird blue one and this cool red one. And it's, I'm just, it's very comfortable. And then the other thing I got is also from Target. Target, which is almost made of the same material, I feel like has the same inspiration. It's got the same little open back thingy, kind of like a V-neck tank top, and it is also very flowy. I love the material that this stuff is because you can wear it in any weather, really, and it's something that is just going to keep you nice and cool, or if you pair it with a cardigan, it'll, you can wear it in the wintertime, too. It is just one of my go-to tank tops right now. I absolutely love this. First guy I've got here is my UE Boom. If you haven't seen my video about it yet, please go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. It is pretty much, if you don't know what this is, it is a wireless speaker that is very loud. It is very colorful as you see, and it is just very awesome. But if you want to learn more about it, like I said, go check out my review. I absolutely love this speaker. It's the best money I've ever spent on a speaker. The next thing is my Apple Watch, of course. I got this about a month ago now. My month review will be coming soon, don't worry. And I absolutely love my Apple Watch. I was not expecting to use it as much as I do. I use it a lot when I go to the gym and it's something that I definitely realize now when I'm not wearing it. So I've totally become accustomed to using it in my everyday life when it comes to just notifications or being active or really, I, I can't even explain what else I use it for. It's just, I absolutely love my Apple Watch, but I will post my review on it soon after having it for a month. If you're considering any kind of smartwatch, check out the Apple Watch, it is totally worth it. My next thing I've got over here is my Mac. 
If you didn't know, I got a Mac, and if you haven't watched my review on it, I'll leave a link in the description below for that. See what I'm doing here? This is my Mac. I think at the end of my Mac video, I might have asked for you guys to help to name my Mac. Um, I actually found a name. Um, Internet Meet Tallulah. Tallulah Meet the Internet. I absolutely love my Mac. It is a 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina Display. It is a heavenly device. It is probably... Nope, I'm gonna say it. It is my best purchase I've made of 2015. I absolutely am in love with it. I use it literally every single day, and I am just so glad that I can say I have a computer, a Mac of my own. It's amazing. Okay, and the next thing I've got here is my elephant calendar. If you guys didn't know, I absolutely love elephants. They're my favorite animal. You might see stuffed animals in the background sometimes. What I've been actually using it for, besides looking at these adorable pictures of elephants, oh my god, is this. Now, do you guys see all these smiley faces on them? I have my green sharpie here and I have my pink sharpie here. Now, pretty much what all the smiley faces represent is every day that I go to the gym, that starts with a G, I give myself a green, that starts with a G, smiley face. And every time I don't eat fast food, fast food starting with an F, I use my pink or fuchsia, starting with an F, Sharpie, to give myself a smiley face. Now please ignore these last couple of weeks of June. I kind of went off the tracks a little bit, but it is honestly something that when I go out to eat fast food or I don't go to the gym on a certain day, I feel guilty and I feel the f like the emotion of like, oh, I'm not gonna get a smiley face today, which sounds so dumb, but honestly, it's been working. If you're looking for a way to kind of keep goals for yourself, my goal is to, you know, fill up this calendar with as many smiley faces as I can. Some people might use it for reading a page in their book, or every time I go on a job, or every time I go walk the dogs, or every time I do, I don't know what else you might use it for, but if you have a daily goal that you want to set, every time you complete that daily goal, try using this method, because honestly, it's been working for me. You know, those kindergarten teachers, when they gave you stars on your name for behaving well, they had a good idea. They had something working for them. And then my very last favorite of this month is that a couple of days ago, on this channel, we hit 200 subscribers! Ah! I am so excited! Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, for checking out my videos, for commenting. People have been commenting on all my videos, and I love interacting with people who watch my videos because it's just so cool for them to like watch it and then give their own opinion on something. And when I ask you guys to leave a comment down below, I really do love responding to comments. I love taking the time and just kind of scrolling through my comment sections on all my videos, answering any questions that you guys may pose for me, or answering, or just making a comment of any sort. I absolutely love responding to you guys and interacting with you guys, but I just have to say thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for liking my videos. It means so much to me and it just lets me know that I'm what I'm doing is not just for me. Other people like it too. So it's just really exciting. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. But otherwise guys, that is it. I know this was a really long video. I'm really sorry about that. But like I said, this is my very first favorites. I just kind of accumulated things over time to kind of make the best favorites video that I can. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if there's anything in this video that you guys said, oh my god, I have that, I love it too, let me know in the comment section down below why you love it so much, or if there's something that maybe I didn't mention but you think is one of the most awesomest things in the world, whether it be an app, or whether it be a book, or whether it be literally anything, let me know so I can check it out, because I always love learning about new things. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Also, as a quick little plug, if you guys have not checked out my birthdayrepresent.com campaign. I would really, really appreciate it if you did. It's represent.com slash well, what are you waiting for? Like water, because it's about the Thirst Project. Jokes, but that's where I'm selling my t-shirts to raise money for the Thirst Project for my 20th birthday, which is coming up in like two weeks, three weeks almost. So please go check out the campaign. Please go buy a shirt. Buy all four. Get them in all colors. You gotta catch them all. But I would really appreciate it if you checked out my campaign, shared it with all your friends, your bowling alley attendant, your Home Depot cashier, anybody I don't care. Just let them know about this campaign because I want to make difference happen and I need your guys' help to do it. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. That's it for me. Stay beautiful. Have a marvelous day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.